Hello, this is Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Charlie State. French police are due to search the Surrey home of the family murdered on holiday in the Alps. Hello, very good morning to you. It is Saturday, the 8th of September. Also ahead. And we are going to be waving goodbye to Olympic Park soon. Today is the last full day of competition. Yes. And Helen has the weather. First, our main story this morning. French police investigating the murders of three members of a British family who were killed on holiday in the Alps are expected to search their home in Surrey. Saad Al-Hili was shot dead along with his wife Iqbal and a woman who's believed to be his mother-in-law near the town of Annecy. Their two daughters remain under police guard in France. Thank you. And uh, we'll be speaking to a former police firearms officer in the about the police operation here in about 10 minutes' time. At least 80 people have been killed in a series of earthquakes in southwest China, according to the Chinese government. A con man who posed as a police officer on Twitter during the London riots has been jailed for five years for fraud. Smokers in England are being urged to give up for a month in the country's first mass quit attempt. The the Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr Rowan Williams, says that he did too little to prevent the split in the Anglican Church over homosexuality and the ordination of gay clergy. Speaking to the Daily Telegraph ahead of his retirement in December, Dr Williams also reveals the church is drawing up plans to appoint a presidential figure to share some of the burden of running the worldwide Anglican Communion. Rumor Ellie Simmons will attempt to defend her 100 metres title at the Paralympic Games a little later today. Just a reminder, Mike, of course, will bring us later, latest on or yesterday's sporting action from the Olympic Park. That's in around half an hour's time. So Paul McCartney will get one of France's most prestigious awards today. He's Just one other story for you as well. Everyone loves finding bargains at car boot sales or maybe at the market. But one woman in the American state of Virginia may have hit the jackpot with her fine. Lucky it's not, her. It's not rocket science, is it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Time now is 10 minutes past six. Of course, uh, all the weather and the sport coming up a little later on. Let's get more right now on what's been our main story for the last few days. And the focus of an investigation into the death of three members of a British family in France has moved to the UK as police look to search their Surrey home. Yesterday, detectives in France began interviewing the four-year-old girl who was found hiding near her dead mother. So just how do you interview a child who suffered such a traumatic experience? And how will the French and British police be working together as part of that investigation? We're joined by to both of you. Well, if we can first, uh, Dr. Mil Milson, talk about those, those two children. Mm. And the French authorities yesterday give us the, fir the first details, what little there is, mm -hmm. about what's been said so far. So speaking to them at all is going to be very difficult. It is. It's going to I'll speak to the older child because she's in a in a coma at this mm. point as well. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, as a mum, I'm kind of very concerned for the long-term prognosis of both those children. Mm -hmm. I mean, how can they be helped to get through what's happened? I think, from a psychological point of view, what you would be looking to do in order to best support her is to bring some sense of safety and familiarity to her, people that she knows, ideally someone within the family who she feels safe with, to start to let her feel that there, are, there is a she, I imagine she's feeling somewhat confused. Mm. Yes, Andy, let's talk about the investigation itself. Mm. Lots of speculation at the moment, of course. Let's try and stick with some of the facts. I know you're, you're a former firearms advisor specifically. Yes. Now, the French authorities have given some details of the scale of the shooting itself, the yes. numbers of shots fired, and the nature of those shootings. What do you read from that evidence? Well, uh... one of the details that emerged yesterday was that, that a, a minimum of three bullets uh, found in each of those who were attacked. Yes, yes. I mean, and what, where does that, what, where does that make, what does that make you think? Uh, it, to me personally, I think this was... Talk about, uh, we're going to leave it there for the moment, but I do know that both of you are coming back later um, to take us through um, more information and all of that. Thanks, Faye. Look through some of the uh, front pages this morning. If we start with the front page of the Daily Telegraph, and uh, they have the big image there, of course, of Prince Harry, the new... Playgated Surrey. Oh, yeah, Prince Harry makes it lots of the front pages, Daily Mail as well, and then they... Yes, on the front page of the Guardian, uh, also... So Alps killing police head to the... Um, the only person, I suppose, who, uh, any witness of any sort of sort was the cyclist who found the... Time now is 17 minutes past six. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. Our main stories this morning. Also coming up in the programme this morning, how the... Let's catch up with the weekend weather. Helen can have a look at it for us. Very good morning to you. Hello there, Louis.